trouble for Unam de Kano as DSS allegedly takes unexpected action against him days after judge withdrawal. Trouble for Unam de Kano as DSS allegedly takes unexpected action against him days after judge's withdrawal. To my dear listeners, Unam Dekano has landed himself in trouble and DSS allegedly takes unexpected action. He takes steps we will not expect. Let's see the steps we then take against Unam Dekano. Welcome to today's news. The legal battle surrounding the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, Mazi Unamdekanu, has taken another dramatic turn as the Department of State Services, DSS has reportedly barred Kanu's legal team from accessing him. This development follows the decision of justice Bintal Unyako to withdraw from the case after Kanu expressed a lack of confidence in her court. When Amdi Kanu who is facing terrorism related charges at a federal high court in Abuja stunned the courtroom earlier this week when he demanded that Justice Bintal Unyako step aside from presiding over his case. Kanu, through his legal counsel, argued that he no longer believed he would receive a fair trial under Unyako's supervision, leading to his former request for her to withdraw. Justice Unyako, who had been handling Kano's case, for several years granted his request. She subsequently recused herself and remitted the case file to the Chief Judge of the Federal High Court for your assignment. The judge decision to step down added yet another layer of complexity to the already controversial legal proceedings surrounding the IPOB leader. The withdrawal of Justice Unyako was followed by what Kanu's legal team has described as retaliatory actions by the DSS. Barrister Aloy Ejimako, the lead counsel representing Unnamde Kanu, took to social media to express his frustration and concerns about the situation. According to Lejimako, the DSS has blocked all future visitations by Kano's legal team, effectively isolating the IPOB leader. Ejimako revealed that Kano's legal team was prevented from meeting with him on Friday despite court orders permitting such visitations. Today, the DSS obstructed Mazi Unamdekano's legal team from meeting him at the detention facility, disregarding existing court orders and the constitution, Ejimako wrote via his ex, formerly Twitter, Andu. He added that his 
that this appeared to be a punitive measure aimed at Kano, allegedly as a consequence of the embarrassment caused by his request for Justice Unyako to withdraw. Ejimako further accused the DSS of acting on behalf of the federal government to unlawfully isolate Kanu. This implies that the DSS, on behalf of the federal government of Nigeria, has unlawfully separated Kanu from his legal representatives, effectively rendering his solitary confinement complete, he said. Ejimako expressed grave concern about Kanu's well-being, noting that he does not know when or if the legal team would be allowed to meet Kanu again. Kanu's legal team has consistently argued that their client is being persecuted by the Nigerian government. They maintain that the charges brought against Kanu, including terrorism and secessionist activities, are politically motivated. His lawyers claim that the federal government is using the judiciary and security apparatus, including the DSS, to suppress Kano's right to a fair trial. The ongoing isolation of Kano from his legal counsel has further fueled these allegations by, rest by restricting access to legal representation. The DSS is said to be violating both court orders and Nigerian constitution, which guarantees the right of an accused person to legal counsel. Kanu's Kanu's legal team has threatened to pull out of the case entirely, citing frustration with what they described as the government's continuous attempt to undermine the judicial process. Now we've come to the end of our today's